Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a Rod and Staff Union. Thanks for joining me today. Today I have a few things to talk to you about, mostly about these energies surrounding this equinox. However, I just want to say to you that if this is new to you, if you aren't sure if you're in a twin flame journey or you're not, or strange things have been happening for you, you're in the right place. There are things that you will learn through this video and there are classes that I teach on it to help you. Now, if you're not sure, some of the ways to tell are simply, are you feeling drawn to the material? Are you drawn to those words? If you heard those words, did something inside you feel like a bell rang? Ding! Did something inside you feel like it clicked, like I have to find out more about this? Those are some of the ways to tell. And some people do start out actually without meeting someone. Sometimes it's set in motion by meeting someone. So there's no hard and fast rule about that. Talk to a lot of people and it is different for everyone. Everyone has a different true love story. Now, to get started, what I want to talk to you about is this equinox. And this equinox is the beginning of the final turn of the wheel. You're ready to leave karmic living, you and your twin both. The final turning of the karmic wheel. It might sound ominous a bit. I don't mean it to sound ominous, but it is a grand event. It's March leading into April, and there's a lot of things that have happened to set things up for this time. I personally am very excited, although some of it's going to be a bit weird. And why is it weird? It's weird because of the cosmic level connections that are involved with it. So, again, if this is new to you, you may find that there are things happening on your body. I'm going to talk about some of that first. And I'm also going to talk about what does this mean? What does it mean in practical human level terms? Not what does it mean up in the sky. A lot of us do like the information and yet it's difficult to apply it to your life especially if you have a family, if you have children, if you have responsibilities like a business, if you have employees, if you're the boss or something. So what do you do about that? How do you balance your life? That is what I teach people because not everyone's going to ditch what they're doing and become a light worker or an energy worker. You have your own energies to work. Yes, you may learn some of it, Yes, some of it may feel like riding a bike, like where it's very familiar to you. And there's reasons for that, too. So if, like some people, you've been trying to do this and you're in a state where you're trying to get peace and rest and somebody disrupts you, the kids are being disruptful, and you suddenly get up and you're saying, Stop it! Shut up! Everybody! Be quiet, mommy's meditating. And suddenly you don't feel so zen anymore, do you? I'm sorry that happened. Kids will be kids. Families will be families. Things will come up. How do you come into a state of balance? How do you hold the levels that you need? Well, there's a couple of things to know about it. One thing is, it's through the body. It's not through the mind, and it's not going to be through conversing with people, convincing them, conjoling them, or anything else like that. It's through the body. So, in this energy, you will be feeling the leaving. You'll be feeling endings. Some of those will be happy endings. Some of those may be bittersweet endings, or you may be reminded of very bitter endings. You will be feeling the leaving. Now, here's another thing to note. It's not one-sided anymore. Your twin will be feeling it. You will be feeling things from your twin's side of your union. That's right. You'll be feeling things, experiencing things, and that's where it gets weird indeed. Strange, weird, 
You can't answer it with your mind. Your mind isn't getting answers. How do you get the answers and the guidance? Some of these for the other person in the union, or it could be you if your twin has not addressed things. Because things, if they if they don't get transmuted properly, do 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 do, it'll go to one side. Do 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 do, it goes to the other side. That's what's going to begin happening. The feelings of impending doom, being lost, hopelessness, feelings of hopelessness. Will some of these things will also depend on your cultural backdrop or your twins? If you come from a certain culture, if your twin is from a different culture, even here in the United States, we have a lot of cultures that are mingling or living in the same neighborhoods. We have formed our own culture. Other countries have evolved their cultures. But what's in the backdrop there? What's in the background? You might be feeling some of that. Feelings of impending doom. What has happened? You may not get the details, but you sure want to get rid of those feelings. And more if it hurts you. There is another thing to happen with this energy. For twin flame couples, no more sex, drugs, rock and roll nor the attitude, nor the mentalities that go with it. No delving back into that, where it's lackadaisical, irresponsible. I understand there are some people who have been self-medicating. A lot of people have along this journey. Angels do. And yet, are you carrying that forward? Probably not for a while. Not forever. Sex, drugs, rock and roll or death from illness? Are there things that run in your family? So you may know by now you're getting rid of ancestral lineages, but how it comes out is weird. It'll be in all kinds of strange ways. Also, you can take attitudes that people have had where you say, ah, nuke them, let God sort them out. You know, just nuke the whole place, bomb it. We'll just clean up the mess later. Sorry, can't do that anymore. It's time to address the problems. It's happening on a big scale. But rather than putting on your cape, you have to focus on you and your twin. What are the messes you're cleaning up from inside yourselves? What are the messes you've cleaned up from your parts? What are the messes that need to be cleaned up? Okay. And I hear a lot of you saying to me, because I can hear it already. I'll see it in the comments. Hey, Patricia, you know what? I've been on this journey for 30 years or 40 years or 50 years. Well, things are about to turn the corner, the final turn of the wheel. Would you help your twin? If your twin were hit by a car, would you help them? Yeah, you would. But what if they were hit by a car thousands of years ago? Are you still going to help them? Because it looks a little differently now, although may, they may be feeling hit by car. You may have those feelings of, I've been hit by a truck. Something feels, it just feels like I got hit by a truck. I have no energy and flat out. I'm, I've heard that expressed several times and actually by people close to me. Not even in a session, by people close to me. Oh, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. Well, where'd that truck hit you? Or where'd that chariot hit you? Or... You know, where did that happen along in history? Hey, some of the things that can go with this, blurred vision. Your vision is going to change. Your third eye is going to have some changes as well. Those go together. The ocular system and the visioning system go hand in hand with each other. You're using the same equipment. Vision, gums, teeth, heart. These are the areas and more that I will be focusing on. Now, there's two things you can do to join. I do have classes. I have a 30-day guidance, which starts from March 13th. I'm running it till the 20th. I am getting up at 6 in the morning here. I'm calling it the Breakfast Club for Twin Flames because it's right around the time of my breakfast. Breakfast Club for Twin Flames. Okay, so if you wish that there's something like an app to help you, or you wish that someone was just having a coffee with you and telling you, you know, here's some things to do. Here's some suggestions for your day. That's a good one. 
it works out to a dollar a day. I'm actually running it for 31 days. It is $30. There is a link down below for it. It starts March 19th. And you will be just in time for the crush that starts to come April 20th. Now, to give you an idea of what does that crush look like, have you ever been to an airport? You're sitting in the terminal and you're waiting. And you're waiting for your airplane to come. Okay? But your airplane actually already has come. And you've flown somewhere. Okay? That's been part of the transit that you've had. Now, you're getting to the place where you have, but you have everyone that wants to get there, and yet you can only go single, you can only go two at a time. You can only go with your twin. So this alignment with your twin, that is what you're focusing on, aligning yourselves. That is what true union is. It is about a union of your subtle bodies so that you can be and maintain your physical union okay so physical union is happening for you find out more I'm going to be talking about this in detail why because the final turn of the wheel means you are leaving the fourth dimension you are leaving all aboard come on now those times are that's going to be in three parts it is the 23rd, which is a Friday evening, and you're in Australia or Asia. That's your Saturday morning. It's 10 a.m. I checked it out. If you're in Melbourne, it's 10 a.m. your Saturday morning. Maybe you don't work. Maybe you can join live. March 25th, that's a Sunday morning. It's 9 a.m. It's 2 p.m. in the U.K. I checked that out, too. It's your Sunday afternoon. Leaving the fourth dimension. This one is in three parts, which is $80. Okay. I want to work that out for you so that you know. So that you know that if you take the 80 and you divide it by three, that's working out to about $26, $27 per segment. Okay. That's not a lot. That's actually very affordable for a lot of people. That's why I'm structuring it this way. Because... If I can have a number of people and give you time to ask your questions in here, that's what we do. We ask questions. I tell you about the energies. I give you nutritional and supplement advice. I give you suggestions for what to do. And I get you opening your channels and communing with your twin. People leave this feeling. That's the main thing, to feel again. Don't you want to feel that initial feeling that you first felt, that love that you felt? How do you create that again and again? And how do you keep it going? Okay? How do you get it to where it's natural for you too? Because you're leaving that fourth dimension. You're going into a completely new space now. Leaving the fourth dimension. A lot of people have talked about it, how it looks is weird at first because of what you're still breaking down. The following uh, times are the 30th, same, that's a my Friday evening, a Saturday morning in Australia, it's the afternoon on the west coast of the United States, or because of Easter, I put it on the 31st, so it's on Saturday, for some people that may still be Holy Saturday if you have a tradition. So a lot of people are finding out too what it is that, you know, is in the murkiness of those shadows. You're still going to be having some instances of walking through the valley of the shadow of death in one way or another. Something's dying. Something's ending. You will have the feeling of leaving. How do you get yourself to the point where you're keeping up? That is the intention with both of these. Keep your vibes up. Keep your moods up. Find out some things to do. Help not only you, but help your twin. Many people will say, oh, Patricia, I, I sent my twin this stuff. I talked about it. They don't want to. Oh, contrary, my friends. They actually need you. You actually need them. And that's not codependency. 
that is interreliance. That is complete reliance on each other because you are connected to that person. You're here to not only make the most of it, but get rid of the past. Now, some of you might be saying, how do I do this? Okay. And you have people that have been trying to get together and, you know, they want to. And you have a couple and they're trying to get together. And she's saying, well, come on, let's go. You know, I just like. No, you're all about sex, drugs, rock and roll. It, it, it feels like, I don't know, like you bring whole bunches of people with you into the car. So what? So what? Come on, let's go party. Let's do something. You know what? I feel my body. It's like I have a Ferrari and I wouldn't hand the keys to my car to someone who's drunk. I just, I can't. What are you talking about? But we used to. Yeah, but I'm different now. Something happened. I'm allergic or something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But how does he help her get completely sober? Because he can feel that. He feels some of the newness. And it's feeling, I mean, would you hand the keys to a brand new vehicle to someone who's drunk, drunk on anger, drunk on drugs, alcohol, not in their right mind somehow? He's being very wise, but he doesn't know what to do. Come and join. I'll teach you what to do. How do you help your twin get rid of addictive behaviors and addictions? That's part of the focus. Or if you have couples, there are twin flames that are, there are twin flames that are gay, lesbian, and trans, and intersex, which means people that have been born with chromosomes giving them the genitalia of both, okay? Something they were born with. And a lot of times their bodies were mutilated or somehow things were adjusted for them and they're not happy about it. And even those pains will come up. Okay, so what if you have people that they get along so well, but they really can't see a future with each other? And one is saying, but I can feel it. I can feel all the potentials of us. Yeah, we're, we're having a great time, but I, I just, I don't see how we can get married. I, ju I just don't see it. Like, I'm, I'm sort of happy with where we're at, but I'm not happy. It's, I, I want more. You know what? I always feel this from you. You want more. You want more. You want more. Stop pushing me. I'm, I'm not pushing you. It's, it's legal now. Well, it's legal in some places. No, it, it's legal where we live. Well, you, you, see, there you go again. You just want more. Like, can you please just let me breathe? And why does he feel like he can't breathe? Why? Why the intensity? I'll tell you why. It's the final turn of the wheel. It's going to be the beginnings of the crush. The crush is going to push people even more than they've been pushed in the past. So if you want to help each other, come and find out ways how to. Now, I like people to feel an ease of doing this, to feel confident, to get your channels open and to know some things of what to do on a daily basis. So if that's you, if you would like to, try the 30-day guidance. It's going to be very short and sweet. It's going to be me talking and it will be via Zoom. You'll get a link. The way to register is down below. There's a link down below. Or register for one of these. If you come to the Friday evening one, I tell this to a lot of people, come and wear your jammies because how, you know, we get the talking out of the way. We get the mind sort of settled and we get some questions answered. Okay? People can participate as much as they want or not at all. But I like to leave you feeling the love. Because that's what you're here for. You're here to be lovers. You are here to be physically together. There is more coming. Yes, there are. there is a schedule here. Okay? I'm going to tell you. In 2012, karma could be ending. Now, a lot of people had a lot of things happen in this year. 2012, if you were to go back, look at your diary, look at things that happened in your life, a lot of things happened. 
That was because even though we closed the door on karma in 2010, that was when everything could be ending. Okay. Now you have the angelics. Okay. And just for those of you who feel like you've been doing this journey for 20 or 30 years, I know you have, and I applaud you. But I'm here to tell you that there were reasons that you were awakened early. And some of the reasons are now able to come to closure. Okay. In 2013, whoops. Okay. Lost my clip. 2013, it was the time for the seraphim people. These are the people that particularly feel drawn to the violet ray. Okay. You've lived in the violet ray for a while, but Little by little, you're going to be living in your physical union and not calling upon it very much longer. The Seraphim Ophanum people, okay, you've come from some really far places. I love the Ophanum. I love the Seraphim. I'm a Blu-ray. I am Orophim. I'm a different type of angelic. The Orophim are the people who are getting the biggest messes cleaned up. And let me tell you, it's been a doozy. You're getting some of your personal stuff attended to. And yes, this will include earthly stuff here at the material level. It can be things like divorces, custody things, setups for your new businesses. 2014 was very significant for people that are Ophanum or Seraphim Ophanum. How do you get to be Seraphim Ophanum? Well, usually through wars and sex. That's how people have commingled their energies. That's why no more sex, drugs, rock and roll. It's time for your purity. Okay? You were brought here. Oops, I have a spelling here. You were brought here quite deliberately, and it is the beginning of the end of the old structures. This is going to be old ways of staying married old corporate partnerships, old businesses, old rituals, old things that you have to do. So I say to you, join me as we wind down the clock here in 2018, jumping from 2014 to 2018. Oops, there we go. 2014 to 2018, okay? A lot of you are going to look back and say, what was I doing in 2014? Oh, yeah, this happened, that happened. You might have had a wake-up call. Let's say, for example, that, you know, your twin drinks. They might have had a wake-up call. Maybe they got pulled over by the police. They got a warning. They got a hand slap. They kind of, you know, I very much advise you, Please help your twin get rid of that addiction because you don't want real trouble. When this door closes, you're no longer supported in the fourth dimension. You're leaving it. There is no more turning a blind eye. There's no more sweeping it under the rug. There's no more hiding it in the closet. There's no more, you know, ducking and dodging and saying, oh, don't look here. Don't see this. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see what I'm doing. You can't help but see it now. You're going to be seeing things. The strongest angels are the ones who are able to see in the dark. But not only that, the angels who are in love are able to see your twin cringing in the shadows, afraid to make changes, and still love them. So if that's you, come on and join. Come on and find out how to do some things because... You have more than 12 ways to get this stuff done. I'm here to teach you. I'm here to teach you so that you feel empowered going forward so that situations that come up can actually be very readily addressed through your body. You have a light body. It's time to begin finding out how it really works, how to get your channels open, how to maintain your upbeat feeling throughout the day. Because there are going to be days when you feel like you got gut kicked. And I'm not wishing it on you. I am saying quite plainly, it's going to feel like something knocks you down to earth. And how do you get yourself, you know, out of that rut, out of being stuck, out of 
the things that really feel like you want to leave this place already. You know, the things that, because you're feeling that for a reason. You actually, many of you are not from here. That's many of the people who are the Ophanum. So if you're an Ophanum, you're a starseed, okay? Many of the Seraphim have been here for lifetimes. And they've learned how to work it. They've learned how the systems work. They've learned how this goes and that goes. And, you know, they're unlearning things. And many of the Ophanum, you have things that you might feel actually very pure and innocent about where you say, I don't get it. I've never gotten it. I don't get, I'm not from here. I'm, I'm just not from here. I get that. I'm not from here either. Although I've been here and I have developed ways for you to feel again, who you are to help your twin feel who they are, to really see it, to dream it, to be it. I think that's a song. Oh, you better leave because there's a song alert now. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching my video. I hope to see you here. The links are below. Please have a wonderful week. Please remember that you're here to be in love. At the very least, no matter how weird this gets, okay, you're here to be in love. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one session, I do that. I do coaching. I do readings, I do energy work, I do it live here in Chicago at my studio, which means that you can um, be balanced here at my studio. It also means that I help you in any of my classes. All of the classes that I teach are on my website. They are recorded, so they're not live anymore, but they're available as recordings. So if you feel like you missed something, or if there's a topic you're not sure about, write to me. I will help you and I will feel which one would be appropriate for you so that you don't have to muddle through it because there's enough going on here. Come and let me help you. Okay, you can reach me on my website at twinflamesmerge.com and my other website for more advanced work, twinflamereconnection.com. If you like these updates, because there will be more, because as we head into April, things are going to be a little bit wild, maybe. As I say, keep your hands inside the Merkaba and keep your seatbelt handy, okay? That's not for everyone. Some of you have been through this last year. Some of you, it's coming up for you. That, that's what makes it so hard to, it's, it's no, we know I know what energies are coming up, but I don't know things that people have done until I talk to them, until I'm actually near your energy. Then I can tell. And so if you need some help with that, reach out to me. I hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.